leave in Nickerman Lake. This is the, uh, you can tell we've changed from a hiking trail to a horse and hiking trail. Just by condition of the trail. But I know it's not like this the whole way. No, it actually gets quite nice. So, the start of day four, Nickerman Lake to, right now we'll say either Marmot City or Dick's Cabin. We're gonna decide the final decision on the fate of our trip is seven kilometers away. Okay, we have, I wanna get a picture of everybody here too. So we've reached the Manning Park boundary. It's almost 10 o'clock. We've gone two, two and a half kilometers since Nickerman. And it's only supposed to be a 7.7 .7 kilometer day. So, we'll probably end up pushing beyond that. Well, I think we've started our ascent back out of this valley. Since, uh, since breakfast we descended quite a bit, but uh, clearly things have changed and we're headed up, up to the ridge again, where we meet the Hope Pass Trail and uh, decide whether we're going left, to Marmot City and the short route. We're right up to Dick's cabin and the long trail. Today is a hot day. The last couple of days have been warm, but today it's, uh, it's a heat wave kind of day again. We've reached the top of the climb back to the ridge. Vegetation's changing back to subalpine meadows again. We're, we're all absolutely exhausted. But look at that. Wow. Of course, that doesn't mean as much to you guys because I didn't film the swampy bottom of the valley that we just went through. But it's nice to be back up on some level terrain out of the swamp. Okay, so uh, we're hiking along the trail and it just stops. It ends there. And all we saw was this uh, grassy meadow. And then in behind Ryan, there's a metal pole. And then we realized that metal pole so if we walked over to it and Magnus found the trail starts again. So if you're hiking this, for some reason, the 
trail just ends and then picks right back up. Alright, so we've looked at the map, we've decided to continue on this way, on the Hope Pass Trail towards the Whipsaw. Okay, so we've found what looks like a little game trail, uh, headed off towards the Whipsaw. So we're going to follow that and bushwhack a little bit. We've got two waypoints with the GPS. And hopefully this is the shortcut to Dick's cabin. If not, if you find this camera and five dead bodies, that's what happened. We took a shortcut. Should be fun. Probably. Well, that was fun. Our bushwhacking led us back to the trail we were on. Courtesy so, of Ryan. So I guess we'll just keep going on this trail. Possible the trail we're on is the route, but it's not supposed to be. So, who knows? Who cares? We'll get there. Well, we've missed our turn that we wanted to make our shortcut and we've decided the bushwhacking it wasn't uh, was not an option so we've just added between six to eight kilometers to our trip to our day uh, and it's all downhill so hey there's another little side trail See if there's a viewpoint out there. Um, yeah, so we're gonna head down to the bottom of this hill on the whipsaw and then back up. And hopefully we'll make it to uh, Dick's cabin by this afternoon by dinner time. Then we're gonna have a dinner and then we're gonna keep hiking till dark to try to make up the miles we've lost. So we've finished lunch. We've tanked up water from this little stream over here. It's a little mosquito infested stream, but it's flowing, it's reasonably clean, and we've got good filters. So now, it's a couple of kilometers, it's about half a kilometer out to the road, to the road if we're lucky, and a couple of kilometers from there to Dick's cabin, and then we'll see what we're doing from there. Dinner, or a few more mileage, a few more miles, then dinner. Oh. It's going to be exciting. Look at these excited faces. Terrified faces. <laughs> Love it when a plan comes together. There you go. Hope Pass Wagon Trail, 26 kilometers. Okay, so we're back on the Hope Pass Trail proper. Whatever it is we took down from the ridge was just a quad trail. So, if we're lucky, this will take us out to the whipsaw, and then we can hike it up to Dick's cabin. It's a much nicer trail than the stuff we came down with. Okay. All right, you put it back before you come around the corner. <laughs> Is that okay? You put it back before you come around the corner.
Well, we climbed up, uh, climbed up the whipsaw road. The oh, switchback. Brutal, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. So we should be one and a half to two kilometers from Dick's cabin, which is where we should have come out. One day we'll figure out where we missed the Hope Pass Trail and what happened there. But so it should be a couple kilometers anyways from Dick's cabin. And then we're back on track. But we've blown probably three hours and only six kilometers. So here's Dick's cabin. We finally made it to Dick's cabin. Dick's not home. Dick's not home. He didn't have any cold beer. So, in fact, Dick's over there. Magnus is standing on Dick. Get off of Dick's grave. It's very in, in uh, uh, rude. <laughs> <laughs> Impolite. Yeah, let's go. Time to hit the trail. So yeah, we've hit Dick's cabin. It's now quarter after four. And we're going to push on to Patty's Pond. Another six kilometers or so. Much to Magnus' uh, excitement here. He's, yeah, he's just ready to go. Ryan is. <sighs> If you find yourself at Dick's cabin and you need to do your business, that's what you get. Three quarters of an outhouse. Don't try closing the door and don't sit down on the seat or you're going through the floor. And so we just passed the trail marker where we were supposed to come out. And uh, clearly the maps we're using aren't accurate because the trail was supposed to come out before Dick's cabin, it came out after. Which leads us to believe that the route didn't start where it was supposed to start, which is why we didn't find it. So we're back on track to where we should have been four and a half hours ago. And I'm not allowed to tell these guys how many kilometers we've hiked. So we'll talk about that later. Anyways, on to Patty's Pond. A little more road walking. Everybody loves road walking. <laughs> <laughs> 